Yo, what's up? Saturday night, had a quick few thoughts wanted to share with you. And uh, yeah, so here they are. Psalm 110 verse number 3 says something profound. It says that in the day of your power, your people shall be volunteers in the beauty of holiness. I read that scripture a while ago, but the last few days I've been just consumed with the revelation contained within that one verse. So much can be said about that, but for the sake of time, I'm going to keep it really short. There's just three things in that scripture that I want to highlight real quick to encourage you with. Number one, it says, in the day of your power, speaking of the power of God, which is this generation, it says that in that day, our day, the people of God are volunteers, number two. And thirdly, it's all connected to the beauty of holiness. And so the other day I was in Phoenix and um, was preparing to speak at a youth, youth event, but uh, the power of God was so strong that I didn't even get to preach. And so the Lord showed me a vision of this cycle, and he said that it begins with revelation of Jesus. When we get our eyes on him, we get revelation, we get fascination. Fascination leads to restoration restoration leads to activation here let me recap it revelation fascination restoration activation and in that scripture those three things it's the day of his power the revelation of God and his power the beauty of holiness just fascination with Jesus which brings restoration to your life from that place you go forward in the plan of God and for the purposes of God. So I just wanted to encourage you that you can rest in the fact that God's called our generation to be volunteers and that you can't earn his power, you can't uh, work up enough spiritual gusto to get more of his power, but the power of God comes from the revelation of the beauty of the Lord and just the beauty that we find in the face of Jesus Christ. That's why David in Psalm 27 he said, one thing I've desired of the Lord, and that will I seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. David had a revelation. revelation. If I can look at God, my heart is going to get, oh, so just captivated with beauty. From that place of beauty and encountering the presence of God, I'm going to be restored in my soul. Many of us have brokenness in our lives and you think that some preacher can lay hands on you and, and bring deliverance, but really what you need to do is lift up your eyes and look at Jesus Christ and allow his piercing gaze and the fire in his eyes to, to come and to meet your heart and to, to bring restoration to your life. And from that place of restoration, you get activated to go forth and into the ministry God's called you into or uh, whether it's ministry as far as the church is concerned or ministry even in the marketplace there's dreams and visions and so many things that God's planted in our spirit that we need to be activated in but we can't be activated until we've been restored and we won't be restored until we've been fascinated with Jesus and we're not going to be fascinated until we simply look at him. Matthew 5 8 it says that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God and so if you are struggling in your life and you need God to just breathe life into you and you feel distant from him, you feel your heart is dry, uh, you can just pray a simple prayer. Again, we're quoting David here, Lord, restore the joy of my salvation, Lord, blot out my transgressions, thoroughly wash me, cleanse me, purge me like hyssop. You read Psalm 51, it's his prayer of repentance after his sin with Bathsheba. And so if you would just come to the Lord and say, God, set my heart free to love you, it will cause you to fall in love with him in the beauty of holiness. And that is where this generation will be thrust into God's end time purpose and power. It's beholding the face of the Lord. And that's the place of, of abiding. It's when you look at him, you find out who you are. I love the scripture. It says that, or not scripture, but a song. It says that I've seen the I am. Now I know who I am. And the identity that so many of us struggle with is connected to our inability to see God. And so I just want to encourage you, and I want to pray for you, a simple, quick prayer, uh, that if you find yourself in any of those positions, uh, that God would breathe on you and cause your eyes to ascend the hill, to cleanse your hands so that you can come up higher in life, come up higher in the things of God. So Father, in Jesus' name, 
I bless them to know you, to love you, pray grace upon them that they might see you for who you are in the beauty of holiness. In Jesus' name.